Hello and welcome back to Underlab. We've looked at what makes human souls so powerful and we've examined the motivation behind anything that can be considered to be evil within the Undertale. Determination cropped up in both videos very frequently, but I still feel no one really knows what exactly determination is yet. While it's left to be intentionally ambiguous throughout the game, there's still a host of evidence available to us that sort of explains what exactly determination is capable of. So stay determined as we're about to finally reveal the true nature of a force that can be used for infinite good or infinite evil. The first instance of determination within the game occurs long before we even start playing. A long time ago humans and monsters were at odds with one another, which led to a great war over the fear of the monster's ability to absorb human souls. Apparently monster souls require love, mercy and compassion, whereas human souls don't require any of that whatsoever. Instead, they're pumped full of determination like a wrestler on steroids and are far, far more powerful as a result. This led to the utter destruction of most of monster kind in the war, and whoever was left was sealed behind a magical barrier. This is the first way in which we see determination manifest. It appears to be what distinguishes human souls from monster souls, and due to it humans are physically much stronger. Apparently humanity can't use magic, despite creating a magical barrier to lock the monsters away. It's unknown whether this is because the humans have since forgotten how to use magic, or whether the human magi who first created the barrier weren't really humans at all. Regardless, with or without magic, a human will win against a monster in almost any situation, as monsters have many weaknesses, such as taking more damage when off guard, or being easily conquered by a human who has half harvested huge amounts of EXP and love. Oh, and if you weren't aware, those acronyms stand for Execution Points and Level of Violence. Determination is therefore partially responsible for physical strength, so it would seem. We know that within Undertale it isn't solely what makes you strong however, as Undyne and Asgore are clear examples of monsters who are physically strong in addition to their ability to use magic. The next clear example of determination appearing within the lore is when Azuril and his best friend Chara, or Kara, made an effort to escape to the surface. When Chara poisoned themselves with buttercups, Asri absorbed his friend's soul before passing through the barrier. He was attacked by humans who believed he had killed the child he was holding. But miraculously, despite being a child himself, he managed to make it back to the underground before succumbing to his wounds. This is an example of how powerful a monster can become when their soul merges with that of the humans. According to Azrael at the end of the game, he could have destroyed all the humans attacking him, and Chara urged him to do so, but he chose not to for the sake of morality. As I explained, monsters can be pretty easy to kill, especially when confronted with a human adversary, so for a child to withstand so much is quite impressive. Of course, it wouldn't have happened without Chara's soul. There's only one thing that could have pushed Asriel to keep going even in the face of certain death, and that must have been the determination he inherited from his human friend. This proves that in addition to the timeline manipulating powers determination can grant you, it empowers you to keep fighting on even in a desperate situation. Evidently though it doesn't make you invincible, as even Asriel couldn't survive the assault. So far we've established that determination can help you to win wars and to survive for as long as possible. An official definition of determination describes it as firmness of purpose. While determination is clearly something a little little more within Undertale, the real world meaning still has some relevance. In Undertale you must stay committed to whatever path you choose, showing firmness of purpose. On the true pacifist path, a single murder will invalidate you from saving monster kind. On the genocide path, leaving a single monster be will prevent you from utterly annihilating every inhabitant of the underground. Wherever we go, determination follows. However, it's more than the simple quality of showing persistence. After all, the purple soul represents perseverance, so why have two souls to represent what is essentially the same trait? The answer is simple enough. Determination in Undertale has inexplicable qualities that distinguishes it from being a mere characteristic. The best example of this is shown by the horrors of the true laboratory. Desperate for a way to escape the underground, the real scientist Dr. Alfie's resorted to experimenting with determination extracted from human souls. Monsters lack the physical matter to sustain themselves after death like a human, so she figured if she took the key component of human souls and gave it to dying monsters, they'd be able to live on. Presumably the next phase of the plan would have been to make monsters powerful enough to pass through the barrier without the need to fuse with a human soul. Unfortunately this never came to be, as her experiment went catastrophically wrong and resulted in the monsters melting down and merging together, creating the aberrations known only as the amalgamates. What is it about determination that monsters can't control? 
while a monster can take a human soul and be okay, or even become far more powerful, it seems when exposed to the raw isolated element known as determination, monsters break down entirely. I went into more detail with this in my video titled Why are Human Souls So Powerful, which you can check out in the description if you wish. An interesting comparison I made at the time is that magic could be the equivalent of determination for humans. If humans can't express themselves through magic, what would happen if they were forcefully injected with it like the amalgamates were with determination? Would humans also melt down and fuse together? It seems fairly likely. This comes back to why determination is so unique in the first place. Apparently monsters are mostly comprised of magic, which explains Alfie's line about them lacking the physical matter to store determination. But what about Undyne? She seems to be unique for a monster in that she's also filled with determination. As I mentioned, determination grants you the ability to keep fighting on past death, which is certainly something Undyne appears to do. Theories have been circulating around why this happens since the game came out, though there's a few possibilities that are more likely than others. I've seen some people suggest that Undyne was given a shot of determination from Alfie's. Perhaps through the strange seaweed-based ice cream she makes in her laboratory. However, I do feel this is rather unlikely. Alfie's has a crush on Undyne, and you have to admit the idea that she would give her own friend a substance that's known to melt down monsters into mush is rather odd. Even then, why does determination help Undyne rather than making her simply melt? On the genocide path, she pulls herself back together in order to keep fighting. This means that determination is having its intended effect, which doesn't make terribly much sense considering that it's resulted in eldritch horrors on every other occasion. I think what's more likely is that determination manifests itself within Undyne for two reasons. Firstly is that she's physically strong, and therefore may have the physical matter required in order to sustain those levels of determination. Secondly, determination is much like the force out of Star Wars or something along those lines. It's a mysterious power without much explanation, but there's a ton of things it can do. Perhaps even monsters can make it manifest within themselves if they have enough justification in order to control it. On the genocide path, Undyne the Undying has maybe one of the best reasons going for wanting to stop you. Maybe this is simply one of the only observed times within history where a monster has found the willpower to keep on fighting, and determination is simply a word used to describe this phenomenon. As I've mentioned throughout the video, determination appears to grant you the ability to manipulate the timeline, though perhaps you don't know what I'm talking about. Certain areas fill us with determination. For example, playing in the leaves in the ruins is one of the times this happens. Those areas then function as save points where we can restart the game should we die. In most games that wouldn't mean much, it'd just be a game mechanic. However, in Undertale, should we go on the genocide path, Sans confirms that we're an anomaly in the timeline and that us reloading is very much a part of the story. This is also further confirmed by how if you reset the game, some NPCs have new dialogue where they suggest that they're certain that they've seen you before. That's also how Flowey was able to control the timeline until you arrived. Unfortunately for him, the human is more determined than the wicked little flower, and so he only regains control near the end of the game when he absorbs the six human souls, thereby making him more powerful than even Frisk. We've looked at the capability of determination in great length, but still, what exactly is it? Well, in real life, it isn't what it is in Undertale, that's for sure. Don't try killing yourself expecting to reappear next to that restaurant that made you determined to get something to eat. In Undertale, determination is both the real-life application of the word, along with a mysterious force, just as inexplicable as magic. While magic can seemingly do all sorts of things within Undertale, from conjuring fireballs to magical spears, determination is a more than capable rival, allowing those who carry it to fight on past death, to reset time and to grow strong and powerful. Attempting to contain it outside of a human soul is plain god, and like with most experiments that mess with the forces of nature, doing something like that is destined to go horribly wrong. Therefore, I'd say that determination is a non existent element like magic, which enables whoever has the most of it to operate past mortal boundaries. With enough of it, you can achieve feats of good thought to be impossible, or you could commit genocide on the entirety of monster kind. You'd best hope whoever is feeling determined in Undertale is on your side and doesn't have a psychotic streak, and that they also like whatever toppings you prefer on your pizza, because believe me, a determined soul will always get whatever they want. Well, I hope you were determined when this video started, as it means you can restart time to watch it over and over again. I think the most intriguing thing about determination is the fact that it makes you so much more powerful than everyone else you meet in Undertale. Not powerful enough to kill them all in a single blow, with the exception of the genocide path, but still powerful enough to eventually win any encounter. That means the game truly is a test of the player's capability to do the right thing. Tell me what you think in the comments, and whether there's anything more to determination that you feel I missed. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, try not to find yourself stuck in someone else's timeline, and I'll see you next time!
before I go, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the scientists here at the Underlab. My head scientist, Nightcore Master, Zaki, Cameron Vigil, Kay Jensen, Asgren She and Sophronius, and my Underlab scientists, Crystal Sleet, Nicholas Dux, Armin Arla, Marisa Ray, Corey Kitwell, Lieutenant Omega, Mani Yak, Goncalo Rosario, and Yushio Coroni. Thanks to the generosity of every name you see here, this channel is able to keep going. If you enjoyed this video, please consider checking out the Patreon link below, as well as the video that explains why I'd so massively appreciate your contribution.